another breezy day. I didn't move far yesterday and I didn't film it. When I showed you myself mooring up the day before, it was just around the corner there towards that bridge. Well, I just moved around the corner to where that other boat was I showed you, where the towpath's wide. And you see, nice wide towpath here. So I was able to do some firewood. So yesterday I just sawed up some firewood. I was, yesterday I wanted to go to Pooley and have a walk around the um, old mine there. Well, I still want to do it today, but the problem is, it's all tree lined down through there. And I don't want them all up by, under trees. So I might not be stopping. We'll see when we get there. Yeah, this is a, another very windy day. I'm not sure how the camera's coping with the wind. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to make a move. And I'm going to put the camera away. It's so windy out here. I don't want it blown overboard. So I'll catch you again. Uh, if I find something worth filming. And in this wind, I think I'm just going to be trying to keep warm. Well, that actually was all I filmed that day. It was very windy and we had a few spots of rain and it wasn't very nice. And I just didn't get the camera back out. I do have a little story to tell you what actually happened that day. I went from somewhere just below Atherston Locks there. I don't know exactly know where, where it's actually called. And I went to uh, Faisley, or just short of Faisley Junction, on basically the, went over the tame aqueduct and moored up on the embankment there. Well, to get to the embankment, you come down two locks at Glasscote. Now, I was waiting at the top lock, and I, I could see a boat coming along at the uh, bottom lock. So I, start, I already started filling up the top lock, so I, I was waiting for it to fill. And while it was filling, it was going very, very slow. I walked down, and there was a young lady, Jen, I think her name was, I believe her name was Jen, on the other boat. Um, new to it, just bought the boat. Uh, she did have a helper with her, but um, new to it, so I, I helped her up through the bottom lock or helped her into the bottom lock I said well, well I'll help you in there while well, the top lock's filling and there was a problem with the top lock filling uh, one of the ground paddles as it's filled with two ground paddles on that lock there's no gate paddle uh, and the CRT knew about it that the culvert where the ground paddle water runs from the paddle into the lock was blocked and they knew about it they knew it was all blocked and I mean it was blocked there wasn't even a dribble going through it so after about an hour, this lock hadn't filled. And I'd been, there was a warning on the website, it takes a long time to fill. Anyway, I called the CRT, I said, look, this lock's just not filling. I've been here an hour, and I still can't open the gate. It's about four inches from the top, and it won't fill. And I said, oh, just leave it for a little bit longer. It, it should be okay. We know it's extremely slow. So, okay, I'll wait a bit more. And then a young lady that's moored in that little short pound on the uh, non towpath side got all upset that because of the bottom gates were leaking so badly, that's why it wouldn't fill. Uh, she said, you're going to flood me out, you're going to flood me out. That wasn't going to happen because it wasn't coming out any faster than it was by washing around. So the level wasn't rising at all, but she was all panicky anyway. So I, I said to the, boat, the other boat, the, the, the young lady on the other boat, it was coming up I said look what I'm going to try and do is if there's a boat in the lock you're going to displace x amount of water it may be able to get it full once we've got it full we can open the gate you can come out I can get in and we can call the CRT and let them know there's a ma major problem here she said okay so I re-emptied that lock she came in and then we shut the gates behind her and then it occurred to me what had happened. There must have been something stuck at the bottom of one of the gates. The gates weren't closing properly. Hence, it hadn't filled properly. Because this time, we'd actually cleared the blockage. Well, I, I struggled to close the gate. And after wibbling it around a bit, it obviously cleared it. And we got, the, um, got her boat in. And it filled quite okay. But two hours to do two locks, that was that day almost. <laughs> two hours to go down the two locks at Glasgow. 
Uh, I just so I didn't get the camera out. Um, it was very very windy, and I just just didn't get back out. And by the time I got to moor up, it was almost dark anyway. So yeah, I was just pleased to moor up that day. So anyway, let's continue the journey from just before Faisley Junction on the Coventry Canal. Good morning. Beautiful, beautiful sunny morning. Wall to wall blue skies. Uh, I'm here at Faisley at the moment. I'm on the embankment between sort of Faisley Village and the Tame Aqueduct. I turned up yesterday and I didn't realise uh, moored up behind me is uh, Kevin from Country House Gents. I've just been chatting to him. He's just walked off into the town to do some shopping. I've been moored here because uh, I get fantastic internet here and uh, very good phone signal. So I've done some video, video editing while it was rather inclement weather for a few days. But now it's time to make a move. I'm not going very far. I'm just going up around to a Ventura uh, business park or whatever, a retail park, and uh, go and do a proper shop before I move on, carrying on up north. Trying to keep the sun off the uh, camera a little bit, so I'll keep moving, the, trying to get the camera in the right position. A boat just went past me. They've told me they'd just come off the water point, so that's where I'm heading right now. Onto the water point, fill out of water, and then go shopping. Beautiful day for cruising, but I'm only doing about a mile, so uh, yeah, here goes. Here we go. Drifted out rather a long way, it's almost on the other bank. Or is there that much wind this morning? This is just one of those moments when you're just cruising along, not care in the world really, it's just such a pleasant morning to be cruising. Nothing needs to be said, except Midsummer Murders, anyone? As we come under the bridge here, straight away to our left is the Birmingham and Faisley Canal, taking you up into Birmingham. Although it's sort of the Birmingham phase, you can now carry on from here for until we get to um, back onto the Coventry again. We're fishing, and that's the Birmingham phase, you can now up there. You can see the swans. Right, just stopped. Time to get some water. So I've only moored up with the centre rope. I'm only getting water. It's very slow here. Oh, it's been here a while. But it should be okay. There's the water point. My hose this time of the year won't lay flat. It's so cold it's stiff. Yeah, it's got a stiffy. And I'll fill it up with water. Right, fill it up with water. Better make a move because the boat's drifting out. Friends in 
gorgeous day for cruising and I'm not going very far I need to do shopping so I have to stop and go to the shops and uh, run very short of food uh, yes I could have got food in phase itself there's a Tesco Express there which I could have gone to which I did go to and get a few bits and pieces but there's all the main shops up here and of course it does save the pocket a few pennies actually it saves it a few pounds if I shop up here Guess these folks are just hanging around. It's the bare necessities of life. Remember this boat? I filmed this just after coming out of glass coat rocks, heading in the opposite direction. And he was heading in the opposite direction then as well. Yes, target on your back. Just after I went past that boat, Cousin Jack, which I know one of my subscribers really liked that boat name because that's his name on YouTube. I passed Neil and Claire on the plant boat. I thought I had the camera running as I passed and chatted and said hello to Neil and Claire waving out of the hatch. But I must have clicked off rather than on on the camera it must have still been on when i passed the boat cousin jack and i hadn't realized so when i thought i'd turned the camera on i actually turned it off so unfortunately i didn't catch coming past the plant boat and that was the last clip i filmed just before i moored up at ventura park i didn't actually film more on up there's a lot of people around so i didn't get the camera out and film it there was too many people and people on the towpath and there were they sat on the seats. I think they were having their lunch and talking all that. So I just, I just didn't bother with the camera. But anyway, I've arrived at uh, Ventura Park and I'm off to do my shopping. And I'm going to be staying here a couple of days. Reload the boat up with lots of food because my next stop will be Rugeley. And depending on the weather, it could take me a week to get there. I could do it in two days, three days probably. But it could take a lot longer. And I'll make a move after I've stocked up. And as uh, long as it's not raining, of course. So that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Big thank you goes out to everybody for watching it. Of course, a big thank you goes out to all my subscribers, my Patreon, PayPal, Super Thanks, and channel members that support the channel in all the ways you do. And if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And click the old bell notification button and the all options that way youtube will inform you every time i upload a new video and don't forget to click the old um, like button and share it and all the other things that you know youtubers ask you to do well, that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching trevor out <laughs>